Hello, this is Paul Shear with InformedCIO.com. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most pernicious things Microsoft has done to the IT community in a long time. And that is they've stolen the GUI. This is a feature or functionality that you are absolutely going to hate and your auditors are absolutely going to love. Today we're going to look at Windows Server 2008 core installation. Now what a core installation is, is it's a minimal installation that you do on a server and basically Microsoft has gone through and they've stripped out every piece of functionality that they can, including the GUI. Let's go ahead and log on to the server. You know, so far we're not seeing anything too worrisome. Hey, look at that. It's preparing our desktop. Perhaps our concerns were overblown. Uh-oh, what's this? Where's my start button? What's this command prompt? What's it all about? Yes, the dark ages are upon us. I literally spent an hour yesterday when I was setting up for this demo just configuring my basic IP connectivity. Really a little bit embarrassed to admit it, but yeah, it, it did take a while. Between researching the commands, running into syntax errors, it was it was just a lot of fun. If uh, I take a look at my host machine name right now, see it's configured as lab2. If I were wanting to rename my server, I would use the net dom command with rename computer. And here's all of our possible options. Isn't this just so much fun? Say I needed to configure my IP information. I would use the net sh command and various options coming of it. This is just going to be fun. Fortunately, I did figure out how to log out gracefully of this install. And that's using the shutdown forward slash L command. This has been Paul Shearer with InformedCIO.com. 